I'm Chantal. I have long hair. I'm Jern. I have short hair. <laughs> I'm Devin. I used to be in a very Potter musical. I used to play Cho Chang. I loved her in that. I'm Freddie. I'm cool. Look at my baggy pants. I'm Kristen. Look at my dresses. Pretty. It's better like, and this week I'm getting styled by Ladylike. <laughs> This week, every member of Ladylike is going to be styling Maya. We each picked a day, and then we each picked outfits based on her taste, and we're trying to push her a little bit out of her comfort zone. To be honest with you, I think Maya does pretty well for herself in the fashion arena. So we're just here to give her a soft nudge. Soft nudge into bold patterns. She's our human Barbie for this week. I think she will be surprised by a few of our choices, but I don't know, I'm excited. I think this is definitely gonna push Maya out of her comfort zone, and that's good, because that's where the magic happens. Let's go to the magic. You're gonna look like a sexy witch, I'm excited. A sexy witch? Well, I mean, like a sexy witch who loves color. I am such a fangirl. I love Lady Like so much. I respect them. They are just like badass ladies, and I want to get some of that juju. I want to like, I want that to be into my life. Recently, I went through like a weight loss transformation, and I am experiencing this new body and like more curves, and I've learned how to embrace my body, and now I want to embrace my style. When I talked to Lady Like about fashion fears and things I didn't want to wear, I could kind of tell that they were like, oh, we're gonna give you the things you don't want. I feel like you've said a lot of like, I don't like this, I don't uh -huh. like that, and I feel like you're mostly just giving us information about things we should, should be on. Oh no, we, <laughs> yeah. oh no, we tricked you. The things that I don't really like are like wide leg pants. This is just my perception. Like I think that it'll make me look bigger than I am. But truth is, I haven't really played around with wide leg pants. I only wear flats everywhere. You will only catch me in black flats unless like there's a special occasion that I will wear like a very small heel because I don't want to look any taller than I am. So in a couple of minutes I'm going to be presented with um, my first outfit. So I'm about to go present Maya with her spoils, her Monday spoils. I wanted Maya's fashion to just kind of like explore itself a little bit. So what I picked for her is a jumpsuit because I wanted to show off her curves. I have some platform for her to give her a bit of rise, but they won't hurt your feet. And they're also super trendy right now. I also have some jewelry. So I would describe this look as kind of like Havana, Miami. Like she can go out dancing in this look and she can walk outside and take away all the rain and clouds that are in the sky and just fill it with sunshine. I would describe Maya's style as a bit more casual. And then whenever she does dress up, she looks amazing. But I think that she can take a lot more risks and maybe experiment with more colors and just things other than shirts and pants. I would never like wear something like this at work. Yeah. I would definitely wear it if I was like in Miami maybe, but I would be too scared. Her challenge is to post a gram and not just like, a, uh -huh, okay, I posted it. Like she needs to post a gram. Like she needs to be, I need a pose. I need a hip. I need a, you know, something like this. And another challenge, if someone comes up and like compliments her on what she's wearing, the only thing she can say is like, oh, thank you. She can't make an excuse for it. She just has to say like, oh, thanks. Monday was Chantel's day and I was very nervous that it wasn't gonna fit because it was a jumpsuit. And the moment I put it on, it just fit like perfectly. It could have been taken in a little bit at the waist, but I felt really, really good and powerful and especially because a lot of people were like turning their heads and being like, oh. You look so you. Yes. You look amazing. Look how cute you are. Yes. Not, oh, 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 this brown it. Oh know. my goodness. It's Chantal. I mean, thank you. It's like a mix of you, Selena, and a picnic table. And Curly. No, I'm <laughs> we are matching. You could go out with this sh on. This is dope as f You look great. Thank you. I like this outfit. Oh, you look good. Oh, thank you. You're getting compliments, Maya. Look at this goddess. Hello. Who, me? Thank you. No, not you. Oh. 
to get out of the way. <laughs> These shoes, they look super glamorous, super fun. Is this a jumpsuit? It's a jumpsuit. Oh, but with the midriff exposed? Yeah. That is so it's interesting. It's like cut out. If I had one word to describe how Maya looked in her outfit, I would say sunshine. She looked gorgeous. Gorgeous. She looked like a summer day. She did. And it was perfect because it was gloomy outside, and so I was like, Maya, it is your job this little ray to of be this sun. So I've been getting a lot of compliments on this jumpsuit. I had to put on like a little bralette because the boob situation was a little too much for work. I remember saying before everything that I did not like wide-legged pants. I love form-fitting jeans, skinny jeans with the ankles. So my self-realization that day was like, no, you look good in wide leg pants. I am obsessed with this outfit. Look at you, a wide leg. A wide leg. I know, I like it, I like it. Oh, you do. I do, I do. <laughs> It was a great outfit to start the rest of the week. I felt really positive about it. What do you think of my jumpsuit? It's amazing. It's so cute. The colors compliment you very nice. Which day is it tomorrow? Devin's. Nice. So with Maya, I did something different this time that I haven't done in a video yet, where I pattern flashed. I chose two different bold patterns for the pants and the shirt combo. When I put it on, I looked in the mirror and I was like, yes. Yes. I put the sunglasses on and I just like transformed into like this new person who was fashion. First name, fashion. Last name, fashion. Yes, fashion, fashion. Look it up in the Wikipedia. Okay, thank you. I bought the pants in a size too big, so she had to poke a hole in like its little belt in order to fit. But to be honest, it looked really good because it was like really tapered in the waist and then a little bit of give yeah. in the booty and the thighs, which I think she liked. The waist area is too big, so thank God it had this belt. Otherwise, like these pants will be falling. Oh my God, I'm late for work. See, this is the thing with like outfits is like it takes a lot of effort and I'm like, if I don't plan it at night, then I'm late in the morning. And I already have these out this outfit planned, so I don't even know how I'm like, um, okay, I should go. My challenge for Maya is to like embody the outfit and to do something super bold. Whether it be ask someone out on a date or whether it be pick up the check for you and your friend without even asking. Just doing something bold that kind of matches the vibe of the outfit would be my challenge. And you don't necessarily need to document it, although vlogging would be good for the video. But I just want Maya to kind of like feel like these clothes are a little bit of a costume because they are. Fashion is a costume that we're just wearing to like help us elevate ourselves to the next place we want to go, right? So I want her to kind of like do that, to use the clothes in that way. Yeah. Oh my God, you look incredible. You look insane. I'm so excited. And I didn't mean to like match, matchy match color with you oh. today, but oh. I'm fashion today. You are so fashion. I love these earrings on you. It works. Am I fashion? Wow. You are fashion. A lot of people liked it. I talked to Jazz and she liked it. I didn't have like a bold lip on and she was like, you need a bold lip because this is a bold look. And I was like, yes, of course. Anything Jazz says, you do. You have red, you have red. I know like the pink, you need a red lip. It needs to pop. Okay. Am I fashion? You no. are fashion with a red Proof. lip. I got Maya like this chunky heel with like buckles all down the foot. I like it, but then again, I don't wear heels ever. The shoes were these buckle heels that I really, really loved. Again, I don't wear heels at all. I have like one pair of heels and I like have worn them out basically. So this was like a different style that I probably would have never picked out, but it worked for the outfit. They were really comfortable to wear. I didn't like want to take them off immediately. I felt really like powerful and I could walk with ease in them, which is very important. You just scared me. <laughs> Why? Because I'm fat. You never dress like that. You're like the cool hip mom that's like, girl, forget your ex-husband. You gotta get on the boat, the party boat. And then you take me on a cruise. Your top half with your sunglasses and your earrings are for some magical event, who knows what, but some magical one. The top looks like you're just gonna wear sweatpants with it, so you're just chilling at home. The bottom is like business. And then the shoes, you're ready to go to a club. So in my opinion, you're ready to tackle anything the day throws at you. So I'm doing something bold and taking out Fernando to sushi. Very brave of you. Oh, look who's here. I had so much fun that day just because like I had those sunglasses on and I was just like doing the most. 
Wednesday was Jen's day. <laughs> I decided that I would like give Maya something that was like not super crazy in terms of the fundamentals of the outfit and then give it like a big statement piece. So I picked these like very cute pants that are striped and then this really cool black t-shirt that has this like cut out back with like a almost like a waterfall of like all of these tassels hanging down. So it's like a little bit of a party in the back. The piece de resistance, as the French would say. My big statement piece though that I'm really excited about is, so I got her this like dope jacket and that really ties the whole piece together and I think really makes this outfit pop. I don't know if this is my style, but again, like I'm just supposed to experience new things, so. I have an open mind. When I went around to ask everyone who they think dressed me, nobody said Jen at all. And I was like, try again. A lot of people thought that you styled her on the day I styled you? her. Yeah. Same. People Same. were like, did Freddie do this? Mm -hmm. Do you know which lady like her dressed me? <laughs> Freddie? Uh, not Freddie. Uh, Chantel? So it was Chantel. No, Chantel. She was the first day. Is it Jen? Yeah, Jen dressed me. She should dress like this more often. She doesn't know, dress like that. I know, she doesn't dress like this. It's like she's experimenting on you. This is Freddie. This is... Chantel? Devin. Nope. Jen? Is it? Mm-hmm. I'm so... Proud. My challenge for Maya is, I know she uses dating apps, we all do, okay? It's LA, it's the 21st century, so I want her to take a photo of herself in the outfit I picked for her and to make that one of her profile pictures on her dating apps. I think that would be really cool. I think it would be really fun. What do you think of the jacket? It looks good on him. <laughs> I, I can't stand the rain. You have to go harder. <laughs> I can't, my back hurts. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so you dance on your back hurts. <laughs> I think the back is actually probably the coolest part. This is like a fun surprise. It's like, ooh, the front and then the back braid my colorful tassels. Things. <laughs> it is nice. I don't know why you're covering it up with the jacket. No, don't wear the jacket. I love how you're walking around with it down. <laughs> I know, I'm like, because I want to show the back. Yeah, the back's awesome. Yeah. Hello, Jen. <gasps> oh, look at you. Let me see the back. I think she looks fantastic. Splendid. Splendid. Overall, Jen's day was a success. It definitely made me think differently about striped pants and playing around with like jackets and fun backless things. Thursday was Freddie's day and it was an emotional roller coaster. With Maya, I knew I wanted to throw her in some unexpected color, so I kind of went with like a highlighter yellow kind of situation. And I got her this two piece set from Fashion Nova. It's like a kind of like a crop top and then like a, a tight skirt. And then I got her some Pumas because she says she doesn't really have sneakers. She put me in a very bright highlighter neon yellow piece. I tried it on and I was like, whoa. Number one, this is extremely bright. I would never wear this color ever in my life. Number two, it's kind of revealing. I'm showing a lot of midriff and like leg and this top area. And I never wear sneakers at all. My challenge for Maya is to post a spicy boomerang on her story and I want her to be dancing because her booty's gonna be out. It's like a human highlighter. So we have food trucks at lunch and there were two lines and in the middle is just like an open area. So I had to get to the other side of the campus and I felt paralyzed because I was like, if I walk down the middle of this, everybody's gonna stare at me. I was like, what would Freddie do? Freddie would not give in and she would not like punk out and not walk. I'm like, I just need some of this Freddie juju. So I just walked down there and I talked to Curly and Curly was like, you know what? Everybody comments about my outfits all the time. He's like, you just need to not care. I like it. I feel like I needed this to kind of push me over the edge. Mm -hmm. There was at one point a lot of people staring at me. Really? Yes. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna own it and I'm gonna put on like, what would Freddie do? <laughs> And I just walked through the Puma. Yes! Can you guess which lady liker styled me? Freddie. Yes. <laughs> totally yeah. Do you like it? I do. The color is shocking. That, I, I didn't color. believe you. No, the color is shocking. The color is shocking. It doesn't really shock like me. It. it shocks me like how good you look in that. Aww. I'm like, oh damn, I want to talk to her a little while. Aww. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello. Your body looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got a holy I'm gay. We knew Dang. it. Still gay. Still gay. Still gay. Still, still, still gay. Whose outfit is this? Guess. Mm, 
This is Fred's. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about the Pumas. I'm not a Puma girl. But I like them. I think that I needed to wear this color and go through the like anxiety of everybody staring at me because like I did look good. I do look good, but I don't know. It just felt super weird. I don't know. I hope she still wears it again. I hope she gives it another go. Like maybe not in the workplace, but like maybe just like out and about on the town because it is LA and people do dress like all kinds of different ways and very eccentric. And so maybe she'll feel more comfortable wearing it just like outside of this bubble. What I loved about your outfit, it was two pieces. So like if she's feeling bold, she can match them together and be a neon girl. Mm -hmm. Or she could like separate them and totally. then pair them with other parts. At the end of the day, I realized that I really needed that day to work through it and to just realize that like I need to not give a shit. Friday was Kristen's day and she was very excited about this dress. Maya tends to wear a lot of blacks and like she kind of likes to hide. So I wanted to like find a dress where it was like impossible to hide. Like you're playing hide and go seek, you lose immediately. One thing that Maya said that she didn't want any of was animal print, but I asked her if she would be okay with whole animals and she said yes. So I got a dress with a bunch of zebras. Oh yeah, you better wake up. These are wake up heels. You got these heels. Oh, those are cute. Wow. <laughs> you just call these wake up heels, but you, when you told me about them, you described them as something different. Oh, I described them as f***ing heels. Oh. Hey, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have these <laughs> earrings too. I do have a challenge. I want you to do a pose you've never done on Instagram, or at least you haven't done in like the last year or so. Because obviously everyone has their poses and their angles. I want you to do a pose that like you've never done before. The shoes? Oh, I struggled with the shoes. Here she comes, baby's first steps. Yay! Have you ever worn heels like this before? Never in my life. Yes. The stilettos took me down today, okay? I was their bitch, okay? You look nice. Thank you. What do you think about the shoes? I love them from the front. I would say that the back is a little too much. You also look not great walking in them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Um, You're not the most graceful. Not in these. How do you like the shoes? The shoes are. <gasps> No, 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 don't get excited about that crust on the back. What? You don't like those? I love them. What do you think about my outfit? Beautiful. What do you think about my outfit? Beautiful. No one's being honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look how hot you are. The print's a little much for me. The shoes are too much yes. for me, but it's, it's nice to um, put me out of my comfort zone. I hope she wears the dress I picked for her again, because holy crap, it is so pretty. It's so pretty, <laughs> like that pattern is. It was like show, oh. I really, I want to hear what Curly has to say about this dress. I love this, what does Curly think? He's not here today, but I'm gonna FaceTime what? him later. Look how cute it is. Yay. I know you hate this print, but I think this print looks f***ing bomb. It's, it's a thing. It works. <laughs> it works for a Friday morning at 10 a.m. Well, I mean, it's not a Friday morning look. It's definitely a Friday, well, it's a Saturday morning look. Is that a thing? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> One day I would love to master the art of walking in stilettos. Obviously it's very hard to walk in stilettos, I understand that, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm helping Maya walk, because apparently my heels are a little bit too much. They're, they're a little, little, little tall. A little tall. Maya, put on the shoes! Put the shoes I just shoes took on. the shoes off. Very cute. Boobs look good. Thanks. Looks very good. Hey boobs. Hey waist. Mm -hmm. Now go put the shoes on. I would have never ever picked this before just because I'd be like, zebras? No thanks. But like, it kind of works with my personality a little bit. Like I'm kind of down to explore maybe one day animal print or like animals on a dress because this is pretty cute. It has a lot of character. What I loved about each piece was that they had each Lady Liker's personality in them and I felt their spirit in each outfit and it gave me confidence and it gave me like good vibes. She looked great in all the looks and you know what, she brought her own aesthetic to every look, like how she styled her hair, how she did her makeup. I was so proud of her. It was fun. It was super fun. It was really nice. It was like yes. getting to play with like a really intelligent, self-actualized Barbie doll. Yes. Maya, thank you for trusting us 
and you just looked amazing. Yeah. My advice for someone who wants to explore other looks but is kind of a little insecure about it, I would just do it. Like I would try to pick one piece, maybe it's like pants, like those checkered pants that you're like, I kind of like these but I have no idea like what I would pair them with. Like just buy it, spend an hour or two in your room and have like a mini fashion show because you know it's just you by yourself and just try it on with different things and really feel comfortable about it and if you love it and if you think it looks great on you that's all that matters the other thing i will say is i would definitely take everybody else's comments very lightly because oftentimes like i'm really sensitive to what anybody says and i'm trying to work on that just own it like you have to go into this mentality of like i am the sh and no one can say anything else.